Hello Sparkle Squad. Welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica Sparkles. We have a color and chat video today. So I'm going to be doing a page out of Grayscale Alice in Wonderland by Jade Summer. This is one of my new books. I just got it last week. Um, I kind of went on a Jade Summer Grayscale craze. So I got this one. I got Kawaii Fantasy. Is that what it's called? I think so. Fairies and uh, Mermaids, all grayscale by Jade Summer. So I really like the grayscale and I wanted more. So I got this one and this is a page I'm going to do today. So I am going to be doing Alice and the Roses. I have my page protector right here. I've got my box of Sharpies next to me and my bag of Cali Arts. Here's the bag of Cali Arts. Here's my box of Sharpies, massive box. And those are the things that I'm gonna be using today. So, how are all of you? I hope you're doing very, very well. I am getting situated at the moment. I've also got my glitter and everything else around, so you know we're gonna glitter it up. So, let me just move this in the center and do a little zoom. And we will get started. I'm going to start with the roses. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I had a pretty decent weekend. I set my Cali Arts on the floor for a moment. Um, husband had to work Saturday. So after work, we went and got groceries. Came home, chilled. And let's see, what else? Uh, Sunday, yesterday, because today's Monday, we cooked out. We had burgers here. He cooked out. I sat and watched him cook out. Uh, we had burgers on the grill, and they were delicious. I got some leftovers, so that is what I am going to have for lunch today after the video. I'm going to make me a leftover barbecue burger and a pull of sausage probably with that. And a side of loaded baked potato salad. Yum, 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 yum. Have a couple of deliveries I'm expecting today. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's like something caught in my throat. Um, well, as you know, I told you last last week. No, I didn't do a video last week. The week before, um, Andy hit a deer. That's my husband, Andy. He hit a deer on his way to work. And... Um, smashed in the front of his hood pretty good so we ordered a new hood so that should be coming today i think i have no idea how it's coming i think it's coming on a semi so that's crazy i've never had anything delivered off a semi before but we will see i love coloring grayscale well specifically jade summer's grayscale because i have a couple other grayscale books and i don't color out of them much or actually at all uh, Jade Summers I color out of all the time so but it's just easy peasy lemon squeezy just straight color with your markers uh, you can do extra stuff you can add extra darkness lightness whatever you want but mostly all I do color uh, just plain old with my sharpies and my alcohol markers on them and the pages always turn out lovely. I had this book in line art but I gave it away to my Aunt Rhonda. Uh, I gave it to her because I knew I was gonna get the grayscale so I gave that uh, just the plain line art to my aunt. I'd only done one picture out of it. I done the first one, this one. I done this one out of the line art but I was like I don't need the line art and the grayscale so I gave the line art one to my Auntie Pooh. I got to see her last uh, Friday, or on Friday, so we spent the day together, had lunch, chatted, visited a few stores, picked up some stuff, some groceries, and just some things that we were needing, so that was nice. It was good to get out of the house and get away for a little bit. I'm really wanting to go swimming. I am in the swimming mood. I want to swim so bad. Like, you have no idea. I just really want to go swimming. And I was going to or uh, get a swimming pool. 
swimming pools are sold out everywhere and I'm really upset about it. <laughs> like above ground, you know, swimming pools, they're gone. I cannot find one anywhere. I checked Amazon. I checked Walmart. I checked Target. I checked, Ho uh, not Hobby Lobby, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, Academy Sports. Nowhere had a above ground pool. Everything said out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> I've always wanted a pool. Ever since I was a child, I've always wanted my own pool. My dreams still are not getting fulfilled here, and it really upsets me. So I don't know if they'll ever get any in stock. I don't know what's going to go on there, but hopefully they do. So, yeah. I just really want to, and I don't like to swim in lakes. I never have been a fan of swimming at the lake. I don't like creatures swimming with me. I'd rather see what's in the water. <laughs> and it's just kind of one of them things. Now, I will and have swam in the lake. And I will probably swim in the lake again. But if I had my own pool, I probably would not. I'm just not a fan of lakes. I mean, I have had fun at them. Don't get me wrong. But I would rather have a pool. In my own backyard. They don't have to leave the house. And see, I'm right here. My husband can cook while I'm in the pool. See, he can cook out. I'm in the pool. All is well. <laughs> so, hopefully, I'm going to keep my eye open. And hopefully, there will be a pool become available at some point. Is it starting to get warm? Finally. Usually, it's already really hot by now. But it's finally, finally starting to get warm. Which I'm okay with because I don't like the heat. So I'm okay that if it's cool for a long time. I'm going to get a sip of my cherry vanilla Coke here. Ah, I get dry mouth when I start talking. So gotta have myself a little sippy sip of something. Oh guys, I got this creamer for my coffee. It's uh, from I think it's coffee meat. Yeah, coffee meat. And it's coconut cream. Oh my god. That is good. <laughs> I'll tell you about all these different creamers and stuff I try. But the I've seen it for a long time. I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. But I finally got it and I tried it. And it is delicious. Now, let me tell you what. That makes a lovely cup of coffee. That coconut cream. Yum, yum, yum. So this is a chill video, coloring some grayscale, just straight coloring, nothing fancy. <clears throat> How are all of you? I hope you're all doing well. What are you coloring, diamond painting, crafting, anything? Uh, what are you doing? What are you up to? What have you been up to? Let me know. I like to know what you're doing and what you've been up to. Give me a glimpse into your life. Please and thank you. Um, my husband and I have actually been talking about buying a new home. We are looking into what all we need to do to get a new home. Uh, how much we need to save up for a down payment. I don't know anything about the home buying process. Not much anyway. You might hear my dogs bark just so you know. I'm hoping not, but uh, Miss Moke has been a barky boo this morning already, so you'll probably hear them. That's my little disclaimer. I have three puppy puppy doos, and they will bark from time to time. Well, they're not puppies; they're all grown now. But Moke is my youngest. She's my youngest child, and she is a brat, but she is my baby. So, she's my barker. The other two, not so much. Only if she gets real riled up, and they, you might hear Mason and Snooker. Or Snooky. Her name's Snooky, but I call her Snooker half the time. But they had some treats a little bit ago. Fresh water. They had been out, so... 
Usually they're pretty good unless they hear other dogs outside and Mocha does. So she's looking out the window. She went over to look out the window. I've got my window open. It's nice this morning. It's supposed to be in the 80s today, I think. That's too hot for me, so the air will come on later. But right now the window's open. It's nice. The birds are chirping. I need to refill the bird seed outside because they're fat and they ate it all. So I need to do that today. I need to wash my bedding. It's bedding day. Change the wax and my wax warmers. So many things. Um, but yeah, so. <clears throat> really, that's all I've been up to. Not a whole lot's really been going on. I've been working on a diamond painting for my uncle. It's Yoda from Star Wars. I'll have to show that to you. My uncle really likes Yoda, so I found a Yoda diamond painting and started it. I'm almost halfway, I think. I'm just doing cross country where I pick one. I'm starting with like one, number one, number two, number three, and I'm just going all the way and filling in everything with that one color. I find that works easier for me on the smaller canvases. It's a 30 by 40, I'll show you. Well, there's stuff sitting on it. I'll have to show you in another video. But yeah, so it's he's turning out pretty cool. I've got a couple uh, new diamond paintings that came in a few, like last week and the week before. And I've got two more coming this week. So when I get those all in, I'm gonna do a, di a small diamond painting. I was only four. So I'll show you those four that I got. One of them is uh, has some meaning and then I'll tell you the reason behind that when I show it. One of them is a present. The others are just because I wanted to do them, so. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're looking at uh, possibly buying a new home. I'm kind of excited. I don't, I mean, I haven't really talked a whole lot about my house, my current one. Um, but it's, it's falling apart. I mean, there's no other way to say it than that. It is falling apart and it's going to cost us way more to fix it than what the house is worth. And we just, there's too much, there's too much to fix and we don't have that kind of money. And it really would be cheaper just for us to go buy another house. So this one's been good. I mean, it's been a ride. It's, it's never been one of my favorite places, honestly. And it's not a house I would have picked for myself, but it was given to us. So, you know, you can't complain too much, but things are falling apart. And to me, it's just taught like, if the house will fall down on us eventually and it's it's just time so um i don't want to rent so i was like i'm gonna if we have to save up for several years i'm gonna switch to the bigger sharpie here um until we can get something you know nice with plenty of space plenty of yard then that's okay with me but i said we can't stay here with this house in the condition that it's in. It's really not, it's not healthy. It's not, things are falling apart. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just the house is really old and it wasn't really well taken care of. So I really do think our best bet is just to house hunt, which is exciting for me because there's all kinds of possibilities. And I've already been looking on Zillow um, at some houses. There's a couple here in Gracemont that are for sale, actually. Um, I think if we have enough down payment for one, we can probably swing it. Um, I don't know the whole credit situation. They'll have to obviously go by Andy's credit because I don't even think I have any credit, honestly. So it'll have to all be under Andy's name, but that's okay. There's this one house I really, really love here. It's a three, three or four bedroom, two bath house. I think it's three. But, hey, and there's the bark. Um, Mocha, no. Mocha, hush, it's okay. Hey, come on. Shh. It's okay. They just walked by. They're allowed to do that. No. They're allowed to walk. I know. 
she doesn't think so. But anyway, it's like a three bedroom. It's got two master bedrooms. So I'm like, that's awesome. Um, no mocha. It's got a pool, an in-ground pool at that. So I was already sold and it has a hot tub. What? I know what you're thinking. Crazy, right? Absolutely nutso. But I was like, that's that's the house of my dreams. And it's only a couple blocks away from where we currently live. So, as far as I can tell with that house, the only thing we'd have to do is put up a fence for our doggos. And that's it. The pool is fenced. Um, there's a fence around the pool, which is awesome. It's got a couple of storage sheds in the backyard. I'm going to turn one of the master bedrooms into my craft room or my film room that's exactly what I would do with it too have my own little bathroom probably in the mass the other master yes I've already had idea my, I, I've already been brainstorming and everything <laughs> I was like and really for such a big beautiful home updated and everything with a pool and a hot tub oh and central heat and air hello I mean, I'm sold. I'll move in tomorrow. Give me the keys. <laughs> Where do I sign the papers? Um, it's only 130000 which I don't think is bad for such a nice home. There was one other I was looking at here. It's pretty small. It's a little small. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath house. It's really, it's tiny is the only thing that I'm hesitant on. It's cute. It's been updated, renovated. It's got a fenced-in backyard with privacy fence, a storm cellar that I think you can access. It's a storm cellar slash basement, so I'm pretty sure you can access it from inside the house, which is kind of cool. Um, brand new AC unit put in. Backup wall heaters. I mean, it's really nice, and it's just, it's tiny. It's teeny tiny. Um, but it's only 39,000 and I was like, that's like super cheap, but we, you know, you know, we need a place that is big enough for us and our dogs. And I just don't think that's it, but you know, since we're just now starting out looking, it's okay. Everything's fine. And you see how pretty that is. And all I've done is just straight color. So, so I just, uh, yeah, we're just, you know, in the process of just kind of looking around, not really, we don't have to be serious about anything because we don't owe anything on this house. We just have to pay our property tax once a year, which isn't much. So it's like, we've got plenty of time to look. I want to kind, I mean, even though my town is super tiny and there's nothing here. And when I say nothing, I mean, there's a flashing red light and that's it. That's all that it's is here. Um, a post office that's teensy bitsy and a diner. Hey, stop it. She's going to be barking a lot, I can tell. Um, I might have to shut the window. I didn't want to, but anyway, so yeah, it's a, it's a dinky town. We have to drive to go anywhere. But on the flip side of that, it's very quiet here. And I actually really like it. So, I'm sorry for the barking. I might have to pause this and take care of that. But, um, there's not very many houses for sale here, obviously. Because we're tiny, there's not a lot of options. So, you see me just jumping back and forth between the thick tip sharpie and the small one. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um... <laughs> I shut the window, pulled the shades, so maybe she can't see everything that's going on out there. Maybe she'll be little, lay down and go to sleep, hopefully. Uh, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't remember. But anyway, um, so yeah, so house hunting. I would just prefer to stay right here in Grace Mon. There's like three or four four houses here and they're not going to sell immediately because the one little house that I was looking at has been on the market for almost a year. So, and the big three bedroom that I'd really like to have with the pool and the hot tub, um, it's been on the market for over six months, I think. So I don't think there's going to be any danger of them selling really fast. So maybe that'll give me time to save up some money and put a little down payment. I want, 
What I'd like to do is just use this house that I'm currently in as a down payment, but I know it won't sell. It just won't. And I've got quite a bit of land, but I don't know how to go about just using the house as a down payment. I don't know how to do any of it, honestly. These aren't things that I was ever taught. Um, nobody in my immediate family has ever owned their own home. They've always rented, so none of them can help me with the house buying process. None of them's ever bought their own house. So I just have no idea how to go about doing any of this. So hopefully I can figure it out. Hopefully we can get moved. I would really, 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 really love that house with the pool in the hot tub. <laughs> you guys might not ever see me again because I'd be in the pool all summer long. Wrinkly, the whole nine yards. But, I mean, I just want a place, like this place, it depresses me, the one that we're in. Because it's like everything's so messed up <laughs> in it that it's like I can't... I can't get it looking nice, I guess, even though I try really hard and I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if you've ever been in a place like that where no matter what you do, it doesn't look right. Like it just doesn't make a difference. So yeah. Anyway, so that's what we've been talking about. It's kind of exciting to think that we might actually be house hunting, which is something that we've never, I've never done. I watch a lot of HGTV and watch other people do it, but I've never done a bunch of it. But I think we could swing a new home. And then all I'd have to do is just have stuff transferred over. I could still keep my PO box. I don't have to change mail or anything like that. So that would be awesome. Because in this town, because it is so small, they don't actually deliver mail unless you're out in the sticks. If you're out in the sticks, then you get your mail delivered to you. But otherwise, everybody else has a P.O. box. So, that should tell you how small it is. I think I have more Facebook friends than there are people in this town. <laughs> I, I honestly think so. Uh, something to remember about when you use markers, especially in these because there's black on the back. The marker will dry lighter than what it lays down. So see how this is dried lighter than that. And I use that same. So it will dry a little bit lighter. So don't freak out if it's like super dark. Probably use my Cali Arch to fill in the, um, the bush back there. been using my Sharpies and markers just a ton, a ton, ton lately. Like, I haven't really used my pencils in a while, any of them. I've just been in a marker mood. So if I can color it with marker, yay. That's what I have been gravitating towards lately. But I do want to work in some of my non-single-sided books. So I have to use pencil in those. Um... Yeah. Let me do before I finish them leaves. I'm going to take this red and I'm going to just do these little dots here like a red berry. And that little white highlight that's on them I can just put back in with my paint pen or white gel pen. So no worries there. And because you know how I am, I'm probably going to sparkle this page. I'm going to make the roses glittery because that seems like a thing that needs to be done. Obviously. So, have you guys gotten any new coloring books or supplies lately? To let me know down in the comments what you've got. Like I said, I've got uh, those Jade Summer grayscales. I got, um, what else did I get? Um, I did reorder Phantomorphia and Geomorphia by Kirby Rosanis um, because the other two, the, the first copies that I had, I did boo-boos in and uh, I was coloring when I really didn't feel like coloring. So I screwed up several pages. So uh, I ended up reordering those two. So I got those and I also got, uh, well, it'll be on its way. 
Um, oh, Enchanted Forest by Johanna Bassford. Same thing. Messed up some pages. Want to redo them, recolor them, restart them, whatever. So that one will be here this week. And let's see. Oh, and this morning I ordered... Because I got my Amazon associate. So I ordered... Um, Mermaids? Is it Mermaids in Paradise? Yeah, Mermaids in Paradise by, um, is it Denise Clett, I believe. She also has Gnomes in the Neighborhood and I think Fairies in Dreamland. I think that's it. I think those are the right ones. I do have the Gnomes. Again, one I messed up. Want to re reorder, uh, repurchase Gnomes in the Neighborhood. And I need to get Fairies in Dreamland as well. So I'm excited about the mermaid one because y'all know I love my mermaids. So that'll be coming tomorrow. That one was one day shipping. So I was like excited this morning when I was like, oh, I can get that and it'll be here tomorrow. So I don't know why some things are and some things aren't. It doesn't make sense to me, but Jade Summer books take over a week to get here. I don't understand that either because they used to be on Prime and it's like Jade Summer took them off Prime. They had to have. Because they was on it, and then now they're not. So, I don't know. But they take a long time to get here now. Because so I do want to get the Unicorn Gray Scale from Jade Summer. And I want to get, um, what's it called? Intricate Flowers. Is that it? I think so. That looks really pretty. And I want to order those as well. So, those will probably be just a couple of my next orders. I do have... Hannah Carlson's Midnight Masquerade book on pre-order. I think it comes out in September, August, somewhere in there. But I have it on pre-order and I have Camilla Derrico's new coloring book on pre-order. It comes out also in August, I think. It could be October. I don't remember, but it's in the fall and it's called Cute, Cute and Spooky Creatures, Cute and something cute and creepy cute and creepy i think is what it's called it but i like her style of art even i've got the pop manga mermaids and the pop manga which i haven't colored a lot out of either of those and i need to so we need to get some coloring done folks i really want to color in these books that i've been stashing away and not touching so and i rebought. i'm so dumb i rebought pop manga mermaids i know i know what you're thinking i also have jasmine beckett griffith's alice in wonderland coloring book and i haven't done nothing in it either since i got it and that's been a while so i like really need to dig in my books and start get on the ball with them i don't know what i'm doing what am i even doing right okay so, I know this is slow going. I'm like being really slow, but it's all right. No big deal. Okay, what say you we work on Miss Alice, huh? So, I'm going to grab whatever color this is. Not that color. <laughs> Just kidding. JK. Bailey Beige? No. Skin White from Cali Art. It's R double, triple zero. And that's what I'm going to color her skin. And I'll start with the neck. Let's start with her ear. Now remember, it'll look darker than what it'll dry. So don't freak out if you think her face is black or turning like pitch black. It's okay. It will dry nice and light. Something else I also do is I go in, I'll show you, because I cannot stand it when they don't finish their eyes. <laughs> it just, it bothers me. So I'm gonna take a pencil, and I have one somewhere. Here we go. I'm gonna take my little mechanical pencil here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just connect her eyes lightly for the moment just in case I mess up and have to erase. There we go like that. 
and it's not just Jade Summer books that do There's a bunch that do it, and it just really irritates me. <laughs> okay, so now that I got her eyes connected, I'll go ahead and color her face, and then I'll take a black pen and put there. That way it doesn't smudge my black pen with the marker doesn't smudge the black pen. So, but now they're connected there. Hopefully you can, let me zoom in on her little face. You can kind of see where I put that pencil line in, I think, for her eyes. So let's start working on the skin on her face and get it as even and smooth as possible. I'll be real quiet so I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> If any of your marker happens to go into an unwanted spot in her eye, you can always fix it with a Posca or a white gel pen. This is her skin here and her hair. That's her eyebrow. Now, I know it looks funny, but it, like I said, it does dry. I'm gonna go over her lips and everything just with this, the, this marker and I can always go back in and give her some little pink lips or something. Cause this is a light color. So the other colors will go over it. Okay, if you kind of get it in her hair or something, your hair color should just go right over it and cover it up. You'll never even know. I know she looks funny cause the marker's wet, but just wait till it dries. I always get scared about the faces. Okay, so we'll let that dry and then we'll see what that looks like in a minute while we work on the rest of her. So this month I have colored a ton out of the Floating 3D Mandalas by Tabitha L. Barnett. I think I've done like six pictures in that <laughs> this month. So let's see. So that'll, you'll see all of those at the end when I do my May finishes. It's going to be mostly out of that book. Let's see. That's still drying, but it's looking good. Like I said, I put one of my plastic chopping mats behind the pages because these are my favorite things to use. I got them at the Dollar Tree. You get two in a pack for a dollar. And I just cut them to the size of my books. So, love to use those in my coloring books. They're amazing. And if your marker gets on them, it's so easy to clean. I take a cotton ball put some rubbing alcohol on it and just wipe it off and it takes all of the marker off of your plastic sheet. So that's how I clean them. I'm gonna give her some bright blue eyes too. Now you can, for your bigger areas, use your chisel which is usually what I do, but I'm careful with it because sometimes the chisel wants to push out beyond your black lines. So if you get it super duper wet, so you might get color everywhere. So I very gently use that chisel tip, but I do use it. Used to be afraid of the chisel, but not no more. See, just lightly do it. And I'll switch back to my bullet nib to color in her fingers because they're smaller. I'm just gonna go ahead and color over her fingernails because I can go back in with a, a marker and uh, paint her nails, whatever color I want them to be. Now see her face has dried really nice. I know when you do skin tones with the markers with the black paper in the back that it almost it looks awful <laughs> until it dries so i just don't want you to freak out and you're like oh no i read my picture no you didn't run it it'll be okay i promise 
Oh, um, I did sign up for a couple of subscription boxes, so I'm really excited for those. I should be getting my first one in a week or so. So those will be, there'll be two subscription box unboxings and um, product trying um, a month on my channel. So that is going to be fun. I've been wanting to do something different and I found two subscription boxes that I really think I'd really like. So they're both different. They're completely different actually. So there'll be two different things and I think that's going to be a fun addition to my channel. Now remember, I did say that I am going to be doing different things on this channel besides just coloring and diamond painting, even though right now that's all I have been doing. Besides my um, enamel pin uh, unboxing. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I showed my enamel pins that I had ordered. All right, so skin done, gorgeous. Now let's put some bright blue in them peepers. But I do want it to be a pretty, a pretty blue. What if we do, let's do turquoise green light from the Cali Arts. Let's see, that's a pretty color. Yeah, it's pretty blue green, I like that. What I'm gonna do is just color in that white dot as well and I'll put my highlights in myself so like that and then I'm going to take this blush color we'll do her tongue just this blush like that and let's do her lips this is a, a big marking or what they got seven thousand different names now but i'm gonna take it and it is in petal pink and i'm just gonna do her lipstick right here in petal pink and i'm just following a little bit like that that'll be okay i think i like that i don't know let's see That'll work, that'll work. She don't really have much of a lip over there, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then, and then, just take a black, and I'm just gonna color the inside of her mouth. Like, there we go. Love it, pretty, pretty. All right. So, I'm going to take my Uniball Signo gel pen in white, and I'm going to, usually I use my Posca, but my Posca's been acting up, so I'm going to use this, and I'm going to just put in that white highlight back there and there. See? Easy peasy. And then just a little bit of a highlight on her lip there love it now I bought this three pack of these uniball signos at Walmart uh, Friday before I had bought uh, a gold and white on Amazon and they were kind of high so these were like five bucks for a pack of these three you get gold silver and white at Walmart so there was like five 67 or something like that so i bought a pack because i didn't have a silver but i thought i can always use extra gold and extra white because i'm using them all the time for stuff so there's her little eyeballs done and let me take a black pen a black fine pen and i use this little unicorn pen uh my friend casey who watches my video sent to me and i absolutely love this little pen isn't it cute that little unicorn but the end is like very very fine if you can see that very fine and it's a pretty black ink and I do this for a lot of lining detail so there we go so see so just take that and it's very fine there we go now her eyes are like I like them you don't have to do that. That's my personal preference. I just don't like them. 
it's all weird. Um, <laughs> like not filled in. It bothers me. And I got a little bit of skin tone there, so I will take my white pen and just color in her eyes later, and that'll clear right up, if you can even tell it's there. You probably can't, but I know it's there. All right, so her little neck collar, I want to do black, but because I don't want it to be completely black, I'm going to use a super dark gray. A super dark gray, and it'll look black while not being pitch black. So I'm gonna try first off the Cool Gray 5 in the Cali Arts. That might be, yeah, it's too light. Well, no, that might work. I might have to go a little bit darker. Actually, you know what? That actually works fine. So see, it's, I really, that's a nice little tricky poo there. And we, I want her dress to be a light blue, a sky blue perhaps, pastel blue, that should work. I'm gonna do her bow and her hair pastel blue. So you can kind of see how grayscale comes together. Sometimes it looks intimidating, but once you uh, get it, so easy. So, so easy. And your pictures always look good. They turn out so pretty. I'm already liking her. Let's see. I'm going to leave this white here, but I want her bow to be this pastel blue. I want her puppy sleeves blue. See, so this is like an apron, so I'm gonna put this as part of her dress right here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the bottom of her dress here that I'm coloring. So, yes. I actually might do these bows a darker blue now that I'm thinking about it. Like my throat's really dry. Concentrating. Sorry, I got quiet. <laughs> oh goodness. So yeah, I am. I am excited about my subscription boxes, and I'm excited about my new coloring books coming. I've been trying to think of different things to do on the channel besides just coloring and diamond painting, like I said. Even though that's what a lot of you are here for, I hope that you will still stick around when I start doing other things. Um, I like a variety, and I don't mind a variety on one channel. Like, I really don't. If they do something that I don't want to watch, I just don't watch it and watch the things that I do. I mean, I think that's perfectly okay. Um, I don't want to make another channel for the different things. I just wanna keep it all cohesive and under one thing. Cause that's just me. That's just how I wanna do things. So I hope that you guys will stick around when I start doing other, other videos on this channel. And I hope that you do watch them. You might find that you enjoy them. I need to do some more like vlogs of my days out and things like that. My adventures and finding a pool. Well, I don't even know. If we're gonna get another house, I don't know if I'll bother with a pool this summer. Maybe, depends how hot I get. I really don't know how the house thing's gonna work out. It's kind of, 
it freaks me out a little bit. Like, I have no idea how it works. And that I think that's what bothers me is because I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so I like that color for her dress. Let me get a darker blue, maybe this cerulean blue. And I think I want her bows just to be a darker blue, yeah. Steel blue, just darker. This cerulean is such a pretty color too. But honestly, if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you might want to see on this channel, drop them below. I take suggestions. I am not adverse to them. I'm going to go back over this bow with the cerulean. And if I can, if it, you know, if I can do it, I will definitely do it. Like I kind of, there's just things I want to show you guys and share with you and I just hope that you enjoy it. It's something that you'll enjoy. I'm going to do her hair bow, the cerulean too. But I do YouTube for uh, the fun of it. I don't do it to try and be a gajillionaire and make it a job. I just, I want to do it for fun, to make friends and just, you know, show show things that's going on in my life and show you what I enjoy and you guys might enjoy the same thing so that's what I do YouTube for yeah I like the dark blue bow in her hair now I like that so like I said if you guys have suggestions on things you'd like to see maybe something you'd like me to try let me know down in the comments and I will definitely do my best to try and do those things. Also, if you're looking at this adorable Alice in Wonderland grayscale and think I need that book, be sure to check the link down in the description. I am an Amazon affiliate, which means I make a couple of pennies if you order from my links. Um, you won't see any difference to you. It'll be same price, no extra charge to you. But if you use my links, shop on my links, I make a couple of dollars off of like five items. Amazon does weird things, but anyway, um, yeah, I just make a couple of bucks. And then if, after so often, they send me a gift card, and that's what I got today. So that's what I ordered the um, Mermaids in Paradise coloring book with. Uh, let's see, let's see. I think, see I'm gonna leave her apron white. So the little lines here in her apron, I think I'm going to take just a Sakura blue gel pen here. It's a glitter pen. And I think I'll just take this and do those little thingy do's here. See, I knew if I shut everything up, my doggy would be quiet. <laughs> she did. She laid down. She's laying down here by my legs asleep like a good girl. I want to say hello to all of my new, uh, my new, I don't like to call you guys subscribers, but, um, to all of the new members that has joined the Sparkle Squad, or new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for joining. Happy to have you here. I hope you're enjoying all of my content so far. I used to have a lot more, but like I said, I, I del not, not deleted, I privated a bunch of videos. I'm going to take Marigold because she's going to have some pretty Marigold hair. I always like to use Marigold for like a blonde hair. That's like my favorite color to do for blondes. I don't like to use yellow. It's too yellow. <laughs> uh, but marigold's a good like yellowy orange. It's a good color for hair. Or I think it is. My voice sounds rough and scratchy. I don't like it. <laughs> Manly even. Not a fan, not a fan.
If this is the first video that you've ever clicked on of mine, would you consider joining the Sparkle Squad and subscribing? That would be lovely. Also, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. I have had a, um, a influx of new of new uh, members, Sparkle Squad members join lately. Uh, quite a few new subscribers, so that is very awesome. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for enjoying my content and subbing and being cool and friendly and awesome. Also, here's something I want to talk about, and I don't know if any of the other YouTubers have experienced this lately, but every time I post a new video, without fail, I get a spam comment saying, hey, keep up the good work. Let's be friends. It's on every single video, and it's the same comment, sometimes from the same person, sometimes from different names. Have any of you guys experienced this lately? It's crazy. It's, I mean, yay that you clicked on my video, but why are you... I just, I don't understand it. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. Because I know they're not actually watching the entire video. Because they don't even comment on anything about the video. They just, um, I think they just click on it and write a comment. As soon as, and I don't even know how they're doing it. Because it's as soon as the video is posted, there's a comment. And I'm like, um... <laughs> what? So if any of uh, you other YouTubers out there have this, it's not, I guess not a problem, but just like, do the other people do this? Yeah. Wow. Does this happen to you as well? Got me tongue tied. Like, I don't understand why it, it was, it's something that somebody would do, but that is something that I have noticed quite a bit lately. Also... <laughs> and it's weird and it's only like one I only get one one dislike on each video just one and a lot of the disliked videos of mine actually happen to be my end of the month pictures like showing you the things that I completed at the end of the month there's always a dislike on them it don't bother me like I don't care if you like it or not seriously <laughs> it, it, I'm not losing sleep over it at night but I'm just like why? What? Give me some feedback. Why don't you like it? That's the only thing that I wonder. And I don't wonder it for very often. But I just like, there's always one. And I always, if I show anything new that I get, I always have one dislike. I'm like, okay. Whatevs. <laughs> but it's just, it's always just, and I'm like, is it the same person every time? Is it a different person every time? Who's doing this? Why don't you like me? No, I, like I said, I, I don't care. But it's just, it's, it's just makes me laugh. Really, it, it does. I'm like, okay. I don't get any hateful or mean comments. So that's good. And I don't know if you guys know, but I'm not sniffling today. We had a lot of rain last week. And I think that helped the allergies a ton. Because my allergies were so bad. I didn't do a video last week because I was having really bad headaches. It was stemming from my shoulder. Like, I had a big knot up on my shoulder. And, oh my gosh, I cried for like two days with it. It hurt so bad. My head was hurting. My back, my neck, not my back, but my neck and my shoulder was hurting. And it was hurting up into my head. And just giving me the worst headache. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. I couldn't color. I couldn't diamond paint. I couldn't do anything. It was so painful. I couldn't even sleep hardly. So finally I got fed up. If you know me, I do not like to take medicine. I'm not a person that just takes medicine. I finally ended up taking a muscle relaxer. I had to. The pain was too bad and I wasn't sleeping. So I took a muscle relaxer and that knocked me out. Smooth out. And anyway... It helped my neck and shoulder because it, the knot went away, the pain went away, and I've been pretty good since. So, yay for that, I guess. But at the time, I was like, man, this hurt, it hurt so bad, I couldn't do anything. It was like a debilitating pain. So I was like, no, can't make a video. I can't even concentrate. Can't even think straight. 
I laid in bed for two days pretty much before my stubborn butt would take anything to make it quit. I mean, I took like, I took some Aleve, I took some Excedrin migraine, because I thought it was a migraine at first, but then I uh, could feel it, the tension in my shoulder and in my neck, and it went up the base of my skull, and I'm just like, oh, this is not a good time. So my stubborn butt finally took a muscle relaxer, and that, that did the trick. So here's to hoping I don't have anything like that again. I mean, I've had it do that before. It's not, I don't get them all the time, but it was pretty painful then. And I think what it was is because I was, have been doing some, you know, diamond painting. And every time I diamond paint for a long time because I'm looking down at the canvas. Like with coloring, I can sit back and tilt my head up and color like I am right now. But when I diamond paint, I'm like on top of, like bent over and my neck is down and I think that puts some strain on my shoulders and stuff and that's what caused it. So I've got to find a, a better way to diamond paint <laughs> where it ain't gonna kill my neck. I'm not sniffly, but I can't breathe out of my right nostril. <laughs> it's all stuffy. Of course, cottonwood's flying through the air here like snow, so there you go. That's my murder tree. It doesn't like me, and I don't like it. Okay, so there's her hair all done, and I think she is looking adorable. I want to do her little nails. So I'm going to take a lighter blue gel pen, and I'm just going to paint. I'm not going to paint her nails. I ain't painting. Color in her nails with that light blue. Sparkle. Come on. Come on. If you have problems getting your gel out of here, just tap it. Or do this. I do this a lot. And that gets the, the ink to flow in there. Alrighty, Rini Roo. I want to do the end of this paintbrush here in silver. So I'm just using, this is a Sparkle Pop, Pentel Sparkle Pop. I'll just color that right there and it sparkles. The same color that I did her little neck, that um, Cool Gray 5, I think it was. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Let me find it. Yeah. I'm going to do the, um, the barrel of this paintbrush. And the, the bristles here. There we go. Let's do her little paint palette. I don't know if I want to color these. Like, I know that she's got red, but like all the roses are red. Because, you know, she's painting the roses red. She's painting the, you know, that whole thing. But I'll probably put a couple different colors on here. One of them just being red. I love Alice in Wonderland and Alice in Wonderland things. I particularly like this version of Alice because she looks anime. And you know I love my anime. I've got a couple of new anime figures actually that I got the past couple of weeks. I've got them along the top of my desk and they look adorable. I also have another one that should be coming in today. But I really, I just, I adore them so much. And let's do... Let's spruce up this page with a little bit of yellow, shall we? This is lightning yellow. Maybe an orange. This is just orange, just plain old orange. 
use my Cali Arts. You know, I am in love with these Cali Arts. I really need to get the 100 set. I think I've got the 80. And I'm like, I need the 100 set. Yes, ma'am. Let's go ahead and use that Cerulean Blue. And just do this last paint blob. Cerulean. I love that color blue. It's so pretty. Okay. Now. Now. We're going to get a brown. Let's use Brun. That's the name of it. Just Brun. Brun. <laughs> we'll do the little palette here. Hopefully it's not too dark. No, that's fine. There we go. Do here. Being very careful. Let's see. I think that's part of the palette there too. Yeah. Y'all quit knocking stuff down over there. <laughs> Dogs are in the closet. So I'm out here daydreaming about this house with the pool and the hot tub and the two master bedrooms. and <laughs> It's crazy town, but uh, it's a beautiful home. <sighs> I think it had a fireplace even, and it had... Um, I want to say it had like a big regular, like a, a bathtub, like one of the big spa tubs, soaking tub. Is that what it's called? A soaking tub? I don't know. I want to say that it had one of them too. And I'm like, yes, please. Let me have this home. <laughs> I keep thinking about it and I'm thinking that I might just ask to see it in person just for shits and giggles. I've always loved to look at houses. Like, um, I've been to estate sales and garage sales that were indoors inside the houses, and I'm not even really paying attention to the garage sale stuff for sale. I'm, like, looking at the house. <laughs> I've always really loved to look in houses and see how they look, and that's why I think I watch a lot of HGTV. I love to I just love to look at houses. I don't know why. It's just the way I am. I'm not too worried if this brown goes patchy on this because then it'll just look like a uh, a wood grained palette, which is okay. So if we get patches and streaks on this, it's fine. Sometimes I don't mind patches and streaks. It's Things that shouldn't have patches and streaks, like their faces and stuff that bother me. This, nah. Wood should be a little patchy, a little streaky, a little grainy. All right. So we don't want it to look we want it to look deliberate, not... So I'm just going to add some, like, lines in. It'll be subtle, but it'll be there. Alright, so we'll let that dry. Okay, let's take that white gel pen and I'm going to put a little highlight on this paint. Like that. Just kind of, there we go. And one more. Easy peasy. Well, I think that she just looks adorable. Don't you? I do. Let's work on this little dude down here. The little card man. Let's 
I'm gonna color the heart red, and then I'm gonna take my ZR, or Zare, or however you say it, glitter marker, and go over that in the red. I'll show you what that looks like. I could have just colored it straight with the ZR, and I should have, but I didn't think about it till just now. So this is a ZR glitter paint marker, and I bought these on Amazon. I will have a link in the description for these as well, because these are awesome. I just shook it up, and I'm going to press because it needs to be pressed, and I'm just coloring over that same that I did with the Sharpie. And this is just gonna leave some glitter. Now, it is colored, so you can color straight with the marker, see? But I'm not gonna do that on the others because then they'll be different colors because I need to color the Sharpie first. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that it is, it, they are colored, so it's not just glitter. So you get color on there as well. Let me see if you can, I don't even know if you can see it. There you go. So you can see that that's the ZR marker on its own. That's it over the Sharpie. So I'll put the Sharpie over this and then go back over it with the ZR glitter pen. They are water-based, the ZR glitter markers, just so you know. So don't scrub or you'll eat your paper up with them. You don't want to keep going over the same area a bunch of times with it. I really like how she's coming along, guys. I don't know, if I do it all in one video, it might be a long one. So, <laughs> and I don't think I have enough to talk about to do it all in one video, but you can kind of see how um, the grayscale is coming together, how it looks. Like I said, I'm just gonna leave her apron white. And once I get the background and everything else done, this won't look quite as like I didn't do it, like it's unfinished. It'll look like it's supposed to look. I really like how her hair come out though. Really, really do like how her hair done. You guys might notice that I always kind of go around the out edges of things before I color them. So I have a random question for you guys. Some of you that watch me, you might have an Xbox. Um, I hope you do, an Xbox One. I have been, I because it was on sale and it was like super cheap, I've been playing Uno and Monopoly on the Xbox. I need some friends <laughs> to play with. So if you have an Xbox uh, and you have Monopoly or Uno. They're only, or they was only like three or four bucks. I think I paid five dollars for Monopoly and four dollars for Uno. But we could get together and have game night and voice chat because I've got a mic. So we could like talk and play games. Wouldn't that be fun? I need some friends to do that with on my Xbox. Of course, I play other games too, but those are the ones I've really been playing a lot of lately. So if you would like to play with me on there, Send me a friend request. My user or my gamer tag is jlove347. So just J-L-O-V-E 347. Send me or follow me or send me a request or whatever on there and we can play games, man. Always down to having more friends. I've been looking for a Nintendo Switch, but you know what? You can't find those anywhere either. Um, those are out. I want to play Animal Crossing. Dang it. <laughs> yep, I mean, I've been wanting a Nintendo Switch for a while, but, um, yeah, we've looked and we keep looking and they're just nowhere to be found. They're gone. Dunskies. Gonzos. And again, I'm going to leave the card white. I think my 
doggy children are getting a little restless. <laughs> They're starting to stir. They've awakened. I don't know, can you see that glitter from the ZR glitter markers? They are amazing. I love them. I love them a lot. I think I'll do his little hat just with the glitter marker. Like I said, you don't want to scrub in one place because you'll peel your paper up, you'll eat your paper. These are water-based, so you kind of just want to I love it. Oh, he's so cute. Let's just do his little cheekies. That color, too. Adorable. All right. So, let me get... Oh, where's that? That um, skin white. And we'll do his hand. Oh, I hear Mason's tummy. Poor Mason always has a little gurgle of a tummy sometimes. And there's his hand in his arm and we'll do his face. Oh no, I got it in his eye. That's okay. I can fix it. It kind of flooded into his eye a little bit. I'll let it dry and then I'll show you how we fix that. And then let's give him, let's give him some bud green eyes. There we go. And what color hair do we want him to have? Let's get this wine red. It's Argyle, but it's like a wine red. I call it wine. Ooh, that's a small little... Yeah, <laughs> it was a little bitty tip there. I don't know what that noise was. All right. Little card man is done, but I am gonna take this gel pen and get rid of the marker that I got inside the whites of his eyes. And then we'll just go ping, ping, little Highlight in his eye like that. Cute. Okay. See? Grayscale, so simple, so easy. I think we will take. Ooh, potato brown. Such a good color. Potato brown is going to be the tree trunk. Potato. I'm going to call it potato. Can you still see? Yep. Okay. Got to make sure that you can still see what I'm doing here. It's getting a little warm. I might have to turn on my air conditioner. This was being the 80s today. Like I said, we got a lot of rain last week. Um, last weekend, the wind went psycho. We had 80 mile per hour wind gusts. That's not fun. It's not a good time. I swear I could feel my house moving with it. It was ridiculous. And that follow or that yeah the wind hit after the storm like we had this thunderstorm no wind with the thunderstorm but after the thunderstorm passed it had quit raining man that wind was doing something crazy it rained really hard too like it looked like a river running down the road out front and the lightning man it was lightning i think they said we had how many million lightning strikes just with that one storm? It was crazy. It was a, it was a crazy number. Had a lot of lightning. Oh, 
I cannot believe it's already a quarter to 11. Time goes by so quick, don't it? All right, there's our bottom of the tree trunk. And then I'll pull you down a little bit so we can get the top of the tree trunks here. Really, grayscale goes pretty quick. I really enjoy coloring them. And they always just turn out so pretty and you can always embellish them and do all kinds of things like I'm gonna do with glitter and maybe some stickles. If you wanted to, you could lay down your base coat with the marker and then like take pencils of a darker and shade in the dark parts of the grayscale that you see. I ain't about all that. I just straight up color it because it looks good. <laughs> like I don't need to do all that other. But that's something that you can do if that's what you want to do. I need another drink, hold on. So what's the weather like where all of you are? It is sunny today, but like I said, it's getting hot and humid. It's getting to be that time of the year. Not thrilled. I don't like the heat, but that's okay, I guess. Gives me excuse to eat more ice cream. I'm more of a popsicle eater and a sherbet eater. Or sorbet. I don't, I don't know if there's a difference in the two, but um, I actually got strawberry ice cream this time. Normally I get a sherbet of some kind, but I really just wanted some strawberry ice cream. I That's like, I think as far as ice cream flavors go, that's probably my favorite. Just a really good strawberry ice cream. And I ate some last night and it tasted pretty, pretty good. I also got those little popsicles, you know, that come in the little plastic tubes. I got some of those because I love those. I'm a big kid. I think I've told you guys that before. 32? Nah, not me. Child over here. <laughs> Collect toys. I eat popsicles. I color. I am a child. Someone forgot. It made me be 32. Oh, I got some Hello Kitty Vans, which is sneakers. They're adorable. See, Hello Kitty? <laughs> um, they're really, really super cute. I ordered them off of Mercari. It's a, like a yard sale app sort of thing. All right, so there's the trees done, or the tree branches. Really, all we got left is the bush, the bushes here, the sky, and the tree itself and this page is done so we might as well just be in it for the long haul and finish it so let's pick a green for that i don't know if i want it to be a lighter green than these or if i want it to be a darker green we could go pale green or maybe we'll do pale green for the the bushes down here yeah let's do that i think that's what i want to do so the bushes down here at the bottom we'll do pale green And then we might do emerald green for the tree here, the rose bush tree. And as I have done before, I'm gonna let my doggos outside because they're really wanting to go out. So I could pause it, but I don't want to. So hold on just a moment. Let me let them outside. You guys wanna go outside? You do. We're gonna be good. immediately she goes and starts barking at something but I'd rather her bark outside than in the house you probably still hear but not quite as loud <laughs> somebody's mowing I can hear I can smell it too I also smell the grass from where my husband mowed yesterday I don't even know what she's barking at. I didn't see anything out there. She's crazy. She's a crazy dog. 
nutso doggo. So let's go ahead and do all of this the same green because this is uh, grayscale right here. So it'll look darker. Or it should anyway. Let me switch to my chisel. Chisel McGee. Not often I do a whole picture on camera, but I thought might as well, right? We're this far along. Might as well just go ahead and finish it. I don't normally do these super duper de duper long videos, and that's because it takes a long time to upload. <laughs> so this video may take the rest. Of, actually, I know it will. It'll take the rest of the day to get uh, uploaded to YouTube after I get it edited. So it may come up today, which is Monday, or it may be up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I don't know. It depends how long this is going to take. It may be up late today because it's only 10.52 a.m. right now. So if you're watching this, you may be watching it at midnight. Who knows? I don't know because it gonna take it a minute to upload. I know it is. It always does. It takes forever. Well first it goes through an upload phase and then it goes through a processing phase and I'm like um well first it goes okay no it goes to a preparing uploading and processing and each one of those takes a long time uploading the most but sometimes the preparing takes at least 30 minutes and then several hours for the uploading and another 30 minutes for the um processing it's crazy town <laughs> and that's usually just for about an hour video something 30 minute video uh if it's over that it's a it's a chore one day i think it took one of my videos i done how long did it take uh, i thought it was crazy because it's the longest any videos ever taken in my life and it was like a day and a half a day and a half it took it to finish uh getting posted to youtube and i was like that is nuts why did it take that long no one will ever know And because YouTube has to stay open on your phone for it to upload, if somebody calls me or if I accidentally shut the app, it stops and I have to start all over again. It's crazy. So there's the green. Very pretty, very pretty. Um, I think I will go with this emerald green color for the, the rose bush back here. I'm going to be using the broad tip a lot, I think because, yeah. I've gotten pretty good at using the broad tip. Very carefully around things, but if I feel like I can't, I'll switch to the, the bullet end. There's a lot of things to go around on this one. With the berries and the roses. Eh. <laughs> Trying so hard to be perfect here. The good thing is, is if I really screw it up, then there is a second image of this in here. I don't want to do it all over. So let's do it right the first time. And then just go ham on the rest of it. But uh, <laughs> trying so careful. Woo. Okay, let me go back to the small tip here because that's going to stress me out. 
I don't want to cover up my red berries, although I could just go back over them with a red stickle. And that would probably be okay, but eh. I don't even know if it's a berry. It might be a rosebud in this bush. I have no idea. I just called it a berry. Oh, you can't even see. Dang it. Why didn't y'all tell me? Well, now you can. I hope this color isn't too dark for the grayscale to show. It shouldn't be. The grayscale should still show through this uh, green. I need to use the broad tip. Oh, that small tip's just not gonna work. It's gonna take forever doing it that way. So we just have to be very careful and do our best. We get out of the lines a little bit. That's all right. I won't judge you for it if you won't judge me for it. Cause I'm always getting out of the line somewhere anyway. I just, that's just what's gonna happen. Sometimes your marker, your alcohol marker, is gonna push the color out even when you didn't get out of the line. So, you know. This might look like a hot mess for a minute. But it'll be okay in the end. Also, I'm okay if the bush is a tad bit patchy. Cause a real bush would be, you know, it ain't all one color green. Oh, we get a little bit of patches, that's all right. I don't want it too patchy though. <laughs> this is going to take a long time. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll take the small tip of this marker and go around the things that I don't want the green on. Kind of like I did that, just kind of outline that area. I want to do her hair or around her hair around the little leaves, around the flower petals. Doing this helps me um, kind of not get the color, like when I use the broad tip of the marker where I don't want it to go. I don't know why, I've, and it's something that I do anyway. If you notice when I was coloring this, when I color with marker, I tend to outline things and then color the inside. And I don't know why I do that. It's just something that I do. Any of you do that too? Like you outline something first and then color it? Little bit of green in there. Like I said, it's gonna look like a hot mess for just a few seconds <laughs> until we get this all colored in, but no fear. All 
I'm getting hungry and that hamburger is in there just hollering at me to come eat it. It's gonna have to wait. It's gonna have to wait, burger. Don't worry. I have not forgotten about you. And now we can just kind of fill in some of these spots. Like so. We're getting there, guys. Just slow and steady wins the race. Take your time when you color. It's not a rush, you know? I know some people, they get all crazy and they color like super de duper fast and you really don't need to do all that. Just take your time. It's supposed to be relaxing. You don't want to be in a rush and try to hurry. That's when your biggest mistakes happen is when you're like trying to hurry and get it done right now. And I know that's something that you want, really just want to do and maybe you're getting towards the end of your picture and you've had enough of it. You're like, ugh, I'm so sick of coloring this. Step back a moment step back and um, give it take a break it's okay to take a break absolutely okay to take a break and come back to it even if you come back to it in two or three days let it sit let it stew um, but yeah take a break don't rush through it because when you rush you're gonna make a mistake. It's inevitable. Something's gonna happen. You're gonna ruin your picture. Then you're gonna be really mad because all that hard work that you just did is for naught because you ruined your picture because you thought that you needed to hurry up and rush through it. And this, and I'm speaking from personal experience because I've done the same thing. I've done that. Got just tired, fed up, or whatever. Wanted to finish it and just ruined it because I tried to hurry up and get it done when I should have just took a break, stepped away, and come back at a later time. When I was feeling it, when I wanted to do it. So don't feel ashamed if you have 27 million whips because you can always go back and finish them. Uh, do make sure that if you have some whippies and you use different things to color with and not the same thing all the time, write down what you're using. It'll save you a big headache later. I just write down what I'm using on a sticky note, stick it on that page, and then when I come back to it, whenever, I'll know what I was using and what colors I were use, was using so I don't have to guess and make myself not want to finish it even more. So there's a little a little tip for you. All right, now that I got that done, I think I'm comfortable enough with just taking the chisel now and finishing it off. You can go back over the outline too. Don't be afraid to just kind of, if you think it's not blending very well together, go ahead and throw some more of green in there. It should all dry about the same color. If it don't, oh well. Like I said, I won't judge you if you won't judge me. So you can go back over it and make it go together if you need to. And like I said to you, you want to let it dry good. And then you can see better how things are going and flowing together. Because while it's wet, it's going to look crazy town. But if you let it dry, it should be okay shouldn't be too bad. I 
I really dislike coloring big areas like this though, like um, pencil or anything. I hate coloring a big area. I always have. I prefer to have a bunch of smaller areas. Now painting it would be okay, like taking your paints or whatever and painting a big area, but versus coloring with pencil or a marker, I don't like to have a big area that way. Are you that way? Do you like to color a big area? Does it bother you? Would you prefer not to color a big area? Especially with marker because things can get so patchy and so ugly real quick. And I'll show you like this example right here. How it's got this yucky bleed over. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to have to try and fix that. Some more little bleed over. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and fix some of this because I don't like it. For the most part, it turned out okay, but this I am not a fan of. I do not like that at all. Oh, man. Let's see if we can fix it. Most of the time, it's just going about coloring it in over again. And it can fix itself sometimes. Sometimes it can't. We're gonna try and fix it. And you might see it and think, oh, I don't see anything wrong. Well, I do. I see it. <laughs> so, I'll just see if I can't. Uh... Fix some of the harsher spots here. This is probably where you could use a blender marker. I have one. I'm going to try and fix it this way first, just to see what I can get accomplished, if anything, or if it's going to make it worse. Hopefully, we don't make it worse. Remember what I said, some patchiness? Okay. Too much? Looks like garbage. <laughs> dry and see what happens let's work on the sky all right so I'm gonna let that dry there is a uh, blender pen in here and I haven't really used it much let's see This is colorless. It's just a colorless blender marker.
I'm just kind of throwing some of it in, hoping to see what it'll do. If it'll tone down some of that dark or what it's gonna do. Like I said, let's let it dry. Let's work on the sky. And I don't want the sky to be the same color as her dress. Let's do, what if we do a, hmm, hmm. Hmm, I really don't know what color we can do the sky. We can do it a really dark blue. Let's do it this ultramarine. We just do it a really dark blue for the sky. Show you right here how we're gonna do that. Sorry for the super de duper long video. I'm saying super de duper a lot. You'd think I was watching Barney or something. Nope, haven't watched Barney since my brother was a baby. But sorry for the super long video. But I just wanted to get it all finished on camera today for you guys. Normally, I don't do such long videos. You guys know that. I try to keep them right at an hour. This one, it's an hour and a half. <laughs> a little long, a little long, but it's okay. We watch this little guy's hand down here and be real careful. Real careful. Yeah, that kind of worked, that blender marker. That made it look better. Good deal. So real careful about his little fingies here. Real careful about his little fingy foos. There we go. Just I'm like barely touching the marker around that, so it just kind of not like coloring like this, but I just like barely like barely little flicks. That way I don't get no blue all over his hand. I'd be really mad. Finished off the sky bit there. There we go. Sorry, I'm getting quiet because this is the real intense part where I'm not trying to get all these colors on things I don't want it to be on. Marker ASMR. Do you like the sound of markers on the paper? Do any of you like ASMR? Oh, should I be whispering? Do you guys like ASMR? Okay, personally, I think it's a little creepy. ASMR is a little creepy to me. It just, it's really creepy, and I don't know, it gives me weird feelings, but not the tingles like everybody says. ASMR, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's different. Um, like I said, if you like it, more power to you, but it is definitely something that is very different that I am 100% not sure about. I'm gonna try and not get marker in the clouds so I can just leave them as is. Usually I always get marker in the cloud and I have to use my white out to make the clouds back, but maybe I won't have to this time. If I'm super careful, as you can see we're getting there. My nose made a funny sound. It's making a weird noise, I don't like it. 
saw that nose. Once again, I'm doing this stupid outline thing. And you really probably should not do this if you don't want weird colors or streaks. Some colors it's okay with. Like this color, you can't really tell, but that green, boy, it did a streak up job. It's okay, I think I fixed it though. Alrighty, a little bit more. We got the top of the page to color in the sky and then add some embellishments. And by embellishments, obviously I mean glitter. When using stickles, do mind that uh, they are completely dry before you shut your book or you're gonna glue your pages together. And I don't think you'd like that. Usually after I use stickles, I let the book sit for several hours. And it depends how heavy you put it on too. But I like to let the book sit for several hours and um, dry. Some little tips and tricks. It's getting hot in here. As far as I know, my figures have not been. Let's see, I have an anime figure coming today in the mail, and my Enchanted Forest that I was telling you about is in Oklahoma City, or was Saturday, so it should have been here today. Of course, when I'm filming, because I use my phone to film, it doesn't give me updates until after, like, I don't get notifications until the filming is stopped, so, I mean, that's good, that way it doesn't interrupt my videos, but then I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, so hopefully everything is down at the post office and I'll go check that out later after I eat probably while this does its thing, renders and buffers and saves and all of that. We just have this big patch here and I'm going to turn it upside down so I can color it because it's going to be easier for me to do so. So I'm going to zoom out just a bit. Proud of me for not coloring over the clouds like normal. Oh, and I want to let you know, since we're nearing, nearing that 4,000 members of the Sparkle Squad here on YouTube. You guys are awesome. I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers. Once I get to 4,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. So be sure you share my videos. Tell people to check me out. Tell them to subscribe to me please. That would help me out. And yeah, so once we do, once I hit 4,000, we're going to do a good giveaway, I think. Yep, yep, yep. I think so. I want to thank everybody for 
continuing to uh, be here and um, to be my friend and be supportive and so kind. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. I never thought that I would uh, be where I am today on YouTube. I had never even really thought about doing videos. And then when I did start, I never thought it would be like it is now. And I never thought that anybody would even be interested in what I do. So thank you guys so, 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 so much for being here. And thank you guys for still sticking around when I'm doing different things besides just coloring. Um, I, like I said, I want to make this channel have many, many things. And I don't want it to just be a one one trick pony, I guess you could say. I want to show you a little bit of everything. So there is our picture. There she is, all colored and our tree still looking a little janky. Not too bad, not too good. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this in if that'll help it. It might. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, my stomach's growling. <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> oh, it's like, feed me. Feed me, Jess. And I will. Calm down. Eh, I'm going to leave it like that, I think. We'll just have a little bit of a wonky tree. All right, so. Done with the marker portion. Now, let's give this some sparkles. It needs some sparkle. And... Let's take this light blue ZR glitter marker and pop these over here. I'm gonna shake it, press the tip. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to just outline her her dress with this marker. Like that. And the little like folds. Oh, I'm glad I did that over there. And see, now her dress looks like it's supposed to. It doesn't look like I just unfinished it. You know what I mean? So that's what I was saying about uh, you can leave stuff um, uncolored on a grayscale. Like just leave it white and it'll look finished once you get everything else colored. So you don't have to like worry about, oh, it's not going to look done or something. Because it, it, looks, it looks done and it looks shaded. So let's do in here. And then the bottom of her dress. And it'll just give it a little bit of sparkle. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And I think I will... Stick all the clouds and I'll show you. Oh man, if you get a little bit too thick, that's okay. Just color it in. I'm trying not to dip my hand into the fresh paint and get it everywhere. All right, so that just gives her dress a little bit of something, something extra there. Now, I'm going to take this here. This is, um, is a stickle. This is just in silver. And I'm going to just put like a dab. Or maybe we'll just kind of outline the clouds with the silver stickle. So I'm just going to squeeze a little out. Be very careful. Like that. Can you see that? Museum. Can you see that cloud? 
So we're gonna, I'm gonna do our word. I say we're like you're, you're right here and that's what we are gonna do. But, uh, so I'm just gonna do that with each of these clouds. Just go around the little swirls with that stickles. I love stickles. Yeah. It takes a little bit of practice to get your flow right. <laughs> Being very quiet because I don't, again, don't want to smear it. There we go. One more cloud up here in the corner. And I'm going to call this page done. I really, really like it. Uh, thank you guys for watching my super long video that is crazy town because normally I don't do videos this long, but I decided, hey, let's finish this one up today. And remember, you don't have to watch this all, well, if you're this far, you've watched it all, but in the future, if there's one this long, you don't have to watch it all in one whack. You can always come back later and finish it. It's not something that you have to watch all at one time two hour videos like a movie right <laughs> there we go I like it oh she's so cute now the question is do we want to put glitter on the roses I'm thinking we do I'm thinking we do so let me dig in my stickle box and get the red stickles out and yes I have a stickle box here we go. Whoop, there. So here's my red stickles. And all I'm gonna do here, I think, is I'm gonna take this paintbrush and I'm gonna take the stickles on each berry. I'm just gonna put a dot like that. Can you see I kind of bumped my camera? I'll put a dot on each one of the little berries. Almost out of my red. I've used a lot of red. And then I'm just going to go smear, 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 smear. Like I'm just kind of squeezing some out on each of the roses. Oop, too much. So I just put a little bit on that one. A little bit more over here. And a little bit on that paintbrush. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my dry paintbrush here. And I'm going to smooth the stickles out over the roses. So they're not going to be raised up like that. But they'll just allow it to give the roses a little bit of shine. And you'll notice I'm holding way back on the brush. That's so I don't set my hand down in the stickles and smear it. Because I have done that before as well. Do it on the paintbrush. I'm going to dab a little bit of that down on the palette. So the palette's got sparkles on the red. You can see I put a whole lot on that one, so... And you don't have to worry about the stickles drying quick because like I said, it takes them a bit to dry so you don't have to hurry and spread this out because it's gonna stay wet for a bit. You will wanna wash your brush with um, warm soapy water if you use a brush immediately after. That way you get all of the glue off, or otherwise you're gonna get a really stiff, yucky brush. So I wash mine pretty good out in the sink just with some soapy water. 
warm water. Last rose. Okay. Well, let me uh Can you see how shiny that is? Let's see. I think you can. You can see that shine. Very and then the clouds and then the little bit on the dress from the ZR markers. And then down here on our little guy, you can see the shine from the ZR markers. I love her. She's done. I'm going to call her done. I love it. Yep. I'm in love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, consider joining the Sparkle Squad and hitting that subscribe button. Make sure to ring the bell. So you uh, get notified when I upload a new video. I try to get one to two videos up every week. Every time, I might miss a week here and there, but I try to get them all up. So, I love her. Also check out the links in the description for the ZR glitter markers and for this Alice in Wonderland grayscale coloring book from Jade Summer. I love it and I love the way that this turned out even with our little tree mishap but it looks okay now. So that's awesome and I really love the way she turned out. Yay! So uh, like I said consider subscribing and joining the Sparkle Squad and check out them links. There's also different things down in the description to join my Facebook group which is Sparkle Squad. There's a link down there to join that. Um, there's also my email and all of that crap if you want to look at it, send me a message, whatever, what have you. But, um, yeah, so I really enjoyed doing this video and coloring this sweet little Alice picture. I hope you enjoyed it as well. So, I will see you guys in the next video. And remember, don't ever let anybody dull your sparkle. Goodbye, Sparkle Squad.